We got the Jim Warmack of the UMC men's basketball team, a sophomore uh, for the Golden Eagles. Uh, Jim, uh, obviously, you know, um, just halfway through your sophomore year so far. Uh, just talk about first off how you feel you've progressed as a player. You are weirdly enough one of the more experienced players on this team in terms of seeing NSIC competition. You and uh, Derek Red, but just uh, how have you adjusted to the competition? And uh, just what are some of your stronger areas and areas that you'd really like to improve on here? Well, a big area for me is my foot speed and just getting off the floor quicker. I'm always going to work on that. I'm kind of slow right now. Um, but I feel like if I can get that down, um, I'll be able to do a little bit better in this league. Also, uh, my hands, my like coordination, I just need to work a little bit more on that. And my outside shooting, uh, I'd like to improve on that too. As a you know, local player out of just East Grand Forks, 20 miles up Highway 2, you know, you obviously were always pretty close to UMC, just in proximity. Just what was it that brought you here, and what was it that you know you were recruited by Coach Oseth, uh, but and his staff? But what was it that really made you want to be a Golden Eagle? Well, I mean, it's close to home, which is nice, so my family and friends could come to the games. Also, the degree is just one of a kind here, so. I wanted to get that too, and the people here are really nice. And um, Dan really took me and uh, showed me that what I need to do and how to get better, and I really like that. So I'm just gonna stick around and hopefully be a better player. Yeah, just talk more about what Coach Weiss and you know I think especially Coach Beamish works more closely with the post players, right? right yeah. Just what have those what what's Coach Beamish and Coach Weiss really done to help you? you know, learn more about just playing in the post and, you know, because there's some big guys in this <laughs> league and you've seen a few of them, um, especially, you know, the Daniel Jansons out of Augie yeah. and some of those th those guys that are, you know, Division One caliber players, that, the way they're playing, playing in this league. Uh, just talk about, you know, what they've really done to help you. Well, uh, Beamish really helps you with your moves and what you need to do and how to have a counter to your first move. And then Coach Weiss really helps you with the film part of it, showing you what you could have done or what you should do different next time. And also Beam helps with like um, getting your footwork down and all that stuff. So it's a good combination of both. You know, you have you have a sister who played in uh, this league on the women's side uh, and Kate Warmack, who I actually worked with when I was at Bemidji. Uh, just, uh, you know, what was the family reaction after following Bemidji for four years and then all of a sudden you decided to come here? Uh, so did you guys over, you guys didn't overlap at all, but it was pretty much right. back to back where supporting Bemidji and then supporting yeah. UMC. Was that a little different for your family? Or? Yeah, um, it was a lot of uh, UMC crooks and stuff at Christmas time instead of beaver stuff this year. So That's good. Yep. That's a good change. Yep. <laughs> uh, just... Eh, Talk about, yeah, just um, when Kate was playing, just how you enjoyed going, did you go to a lot of her games and just yeah. seeing, just watching the competition that is NSIC basketball? Yeah, watching her play, I knew I wanted to be in this uh, league, so I figured Crickson would be my best bet. Awesome. Uh, just what is your degree that you're pursuing right now, and what, you know, I know you're still pretty early on in your college career, but what is something you're really hoping to pursue? Uh, I'm looking forward to business management, and I'm hopefully going to get a minor in marketing. Okay. And do you have any ideas of just what you want to do? college careers and what it is to be an NSI player. How much do you guys come to you? I think that's going to help you continue to improve. I don't want you just this season you finish up here in February to your junior year as the as yourself in this league. Yeah, we have new teams all kind of things together it's really helping our chemistry along with
um, in a couple of years, or we'll be seeing what flow, know what each other are doing, just kind of being on the Who are the guys that you've really that bond with? Uh, only came with what? It is that you know, how much do you think this program, you know, turn it around and Obviously, if you like each other, it's gonna take you a long way. Awesome.